Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my September faves. Yes, I already know we're in October, but better late than never, right? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this month was a Fenty month for me. I fell in love with all the products that I purchased from Fenty. Now, some of them I had to take back because I needed a different color, but as far as the product itself and the formulation, I fell in love with everything I have. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with those products that I've been loving from Fenty, and then we'll get into the other products that I've been loving this month. Okay, so the first products are these Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. These are so creamy, um, they're so just easy to work with, and I got the colors Caramel and Sand and Suede. Now, initially, I had purchased the pre-packaged, it comes in a set of three, and it's like pre-packaged, so it's pre-made for like different skin tones. So anyway, I went ahead and purchased the three, the set of three, but I had to take it back because the um, contour shade was way too dark for me. So I went back and got the color Suede. And this color, guys, is just gorgeous. Now, I don't use this as a chiseled type contour. I use it more for like bronzing the face. So this is the color. That's what it looks like. It is gorgeous. And they're so creamy. They blend in so well. Look at that. It's beautiful. And the other two colors I have are sand and caramel. Now caramel is what I use to cover like imperfections, scarring, anywhere that I want a little more coverage in those areas. So caramel is this color here. So it's more like my skin tone color. And then I have the color sand. And sand is a color where I actually use to highlight areas on my face. But those are the colors there. I'm telling you guys, these are so creamy. And look how cute. These are all magnetic. So they're all going to stick together. You're never going to lose one if you keep them together. But they are so good. I really, really like these. And I, they've been working with my skin really well. Okay, so the next two Fenty products are these highlighters. I have Trophy Wife and I have Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Trophy Wife is this gorgeous gold color. I absolutely love this highlighter. I wear it out at night. You can wear it during the day, but guys, you have to be very light-handed when going in with this highlighter because it is one of those highlighters that's like, I mean, it is, <sighs> look at it. It's like one of those shocking highlighters. But if you use it during the day, like I said, you can use it. You just have to go in really light-handed with it. But this highlighter in the evenings oh, it just looks so beautiful and it stands out so beautiful on the skin. I just love it. Now, Mean Money and Hustle Baby is my other favorite highlighter from Fenty. And it's these colors here. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. One of them is like a really nice gold color with like flecks of rose gold in there. And then the other one's very light. So you can use both of these, you know, day or night, but those are the colors right there. This is Mean Money and that's Hustle Baby. So those are really beautiful on the skin. So yeah, I've been loving those. And then um, of course, of course, I love the Fenty Beauty Foundation and the primer. These two guys are match made in heaven. These two products work so well with each other. The formulation together is excellent. Initially when I purchased the foundation, I was not gonna get the primer. But when I talked to someone in the store with Fenty, they said this primer works really well with this foundation. I mean, he was honest. He said, I'm not gonna try to push the primer on you, but just letting you know, you might wanna take a sample of the primer with you try it with foundation and you're gonna see how well they work together. Well, I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought the primer. So these two together, oh, they're so beautiful on the skin. Guys, if you haven't tried Fenty foundation, go in and get you a sample of this. And don't forget that it oxidizes. You'll have to get a color um, actually matched to your skin and put it on your skin, walk around the store a little bit, and then, you know, look at it, you know, in a few minutes to see how much it oxidized. But either way, these two products together are 
just gorgeous, just beautiful. So those are all the Fenty Beauty products that I've been loving this month. So let me get into the other products that I've really been enjoying this month. The first thing is this NYX Angel Veil Primer. This primer is so good, guys. I've never tried a primer from NYX, and I've been wanting to try the Angel Veil, and I am so glad that I purchased this. I have used this with every foundation that I use. I haven't had, let me just say this, I haven't had a foundation that it didn't work well with. Guys, this is so good, so good, and I'm really glad that I purchased it. It is a more of a moisturizing, creamy formula, but when you put it on the skin, to me, it gives some type of blurring effect to the skin. And this, I don't know if you can't tell right here because it's just, you know, kind of, it's just a cream formula. There's no color to it, but it's just so soft on the skin and it just looks so nice. And it just, like I said, it has like this kind of blurring effect on the skin. It just makes the skin look beautiful. So I've really been loving this NYX Angel Veil. And like I said, I've used it with almost every foundation that I put in my, my skin lately, and it's worked well with it. Okay, so as you guys know, I love my NYX Lid Lingerie Palette. I stumbled onto the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette, and I have it in the colors Sugar High and Smoke Screen. I do have the bright colored palette, but this is actually what I've used in the past month. So let me explain. These colors are, um, you've got like your matte shade, you've got some shimmer shades, but then you've got this kind of glittery um, topper shades. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so beautiful on the eye. They are so gorgeous. And I'm gonna, sh let me go ahead and swatch just a few colors for you so you'll see how beautiful these are, how pigmented they are, and oh, they just look really pretty on the eyelid. And these topper colors are insanely good, insanely good. And let me show you here. So I'm only swatching a few colors, um, but then I'm gonna show you what the topper would look like on, on these colors. So here's some of the colors. And guys, these blend so well, they really do. And let me show you like this topper, I'm gonna show you this topper color on top of this plum color that I have. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but I put the topper color on top of that. Guys, these are so beautiful, and these, these topper colors are insane. You could probably wear them on, on their own, um, just on the lid, because they're just, they're that beautiful. And they're, oh my gosh, they're just so nice. I really, really like this palette. And then this one is a smoke screen palette. It looks like this. These don't have mirrors, but it's okay because the colors themselves, the payoff is insane. So let me swatch some of these for you. So here are the colors right here. This is the topper. Oh, so beautiful. So I've really been enjoying these palettes. Next thing I've been loving is this Buxom Power Plump Lip Balm. Now it looks like this, it's just a clear lip balm, but I put it on my lips before I do my makeup and it has a slight plumping effect. It's not like um, where your lips are gonna look huge, but it has this slight plumping effect where um, it does like kind of make the lines in my lips go away. Um, it just plumps up that area. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put some on right now over these lips. Yeah, and it feels good. It doesn't sting. It doesn't like hurt the lips, but it is a great plumping lip balm and it's moisturizing to my lips. I've really been liking this before I put on any uh, lipstick or um, liquid lip or anything like that. This is a this is really good stuff. So guys, I've really been enjoying these Lorac blushes. They're the buildable blushes in Cinematic and Spectra. Cinematic is just a beautiful brown mauve tone. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And Spectra is this like pinky mauve tone. These blushes are so highly pigmented. 
You don't need to swirl your brush in too crazy with these. You just need to go in light handedly, but oh, they're so beautiful on the skin and they blend beautifully. I don't have these on today, but I have been using these nonstop and I've just been loving them. I'm going to show you a swatch of both of these cinematic and spectra but they're just so gorgeous. Another Lorac product that I've been using nonstop are the Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powders in Tan Lines and Sundays. These are also, like the blushes, very highly pigmented, but they are beautiful on the skin. And if you want that beautiful bronze glow, these are gonna take you there. These are just simply gorgeous. Look at that. That's Tan Lines and that's Sundays. And I'm gonna swatch these for you. Now I use these together or I use them separate. Either way, they look gorgeous on the skin. Here's tan lines and here's Sundays. They're just these beautiful bronze colors that work beautifully on the skin. They're easily blendable, but there again, like I said, they're highly pigmented. Go in lightly with these as well, guys. The next few items are hair products. And um, one of them is this KMS Tame Frizz Smoothing Lotion. Here's the pump right here, and this is what I use to pump it into my palm. I actually use this like one or two pumps after I take a shower, wash my hair. I put this through my hair. I start at the ends first and kind of work my way up to the scalp, but this stuff is so nice. It makes my hair look so smooth. I mean, I used it today. It's perfect like if you're gonna actually straighten your hair or you're gonna actually blow your hair out, you know, with a round brush, it just looks really nice on the hair and it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, crunchy or anything like that. It just makes the hair feel so soft and it looks really smooth. And this is also a thermal protected spray. And the next product that I've been enjoying is this Caviar Style Invisible Roller Contour Setting Spray. So this is how it looks, and it's a spray here, has a little nozzle, and I spray this all over my hair. Once I place this in my hair, I go behind it with the Caviar um, Invisible Roller Spray, and I spray it all over my hair, and this just gives me some lift. So um, it just kind of makes the um, hair have a little bit more body and so I've been really enjoying these two products together um, I've been using them quite a bit and um, they've really worked well for my hair to prep it for any kind of style whether it's straightening or curling it with a curling iron so yeah I've really been loving these so the next thing I'm going to show you is a little bit what should I say it's not dirty but it's got a lot of hair coming out of it because it's a brush. And it's this really long, um, what's it called? It's this really long round brush. And I'm sorry guys if there's hair coming off of this, but I do use it constantly. But I love this. I got this at Sally's Beauty. A lot of the times I like to um, blow my hair out um, with a round brush. And this one just allows me to get like more hair, which actually um, diminishes drying time. That's a really big deal for me, especially, you know, I have, a, I have a lot of hair. It's not real thick, but I have a lot of it. And so this just helps with drying time. And grip here is so nice. It's got these little ridges and it allows you to grip the brush and just kind of, you know, brush your hair out. It's not hard to use, it really isn't. It may look like it is because it's so long, but it, it isn't hard to use at all. And I just, I love it for blowing my hair out. Okay, so that's the end of my September favorites. Thank you guys for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed all the products that I showed you. And I wanted to let you know that I did this full face tutorial using all drugstore products. And I'll link that down below in the description box. But again, thank you for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.